you. <laughs> well, if your food is boiling faster than it should, you may have a fridge that is on the fritz. That's right. Here are tips on how to buy new before the end of the year from Good Morning Anchor Beth Vaughn. Repair or replace, that's a tough decision to make when your appliances break down. If it's more than 10 years old and it's broken down, you might want to consider a new one, especially if the cost of repairing it is half the cost of a new refrigerator. Indianapolis homeowner Adam Clinton upgraded his home's eight-year-old refrigerator recently. We wanted to maximize the interior amount of space that we could have. Having two little children, it's important that we have that. Stainless steel is probably the number one seller, and they have several stainless finishes now, so some of them are, you know, they show less fingerprints and stuff. Angie's List says the average fridge will run you about $400, but you can spend thousands, too. Either way, remember, your refrigerator is the most used appliance in the kitchen. Uh, the refrigerators uh, overall keep more precise temperatures than the older ones. Did You don't have the big fluctuations, so your food stays better longer. Think you don't have time to comparison shop? Think again. Everything from delivery to extended warranty is on the table. And a scratch on that appliance could save you hundreds of dollars. Beth Vaughn, RTV6. And for more tips from Angie's List on other consumer issues, make sure to head to the IndyChannel.com.